Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown strong. Hello, you're with we Libby from LibbyStamps.com. I'm an independent stamp and up demonstrator in Australia. And today I've got another one of those how do I do that videos. And we're using the cling wrap background as a technique today. Now there are a number of ways to do this. So today I'm just showing you one way and in a future video I'll show you another way to do it. So to make this card I've used the layering ovals for the sentiment, poppy moments dies and the painted poppies to do the inside of the card and the envelope and peaceful moments for the sentiment and this card I've done in Mango Melody so today we're going to try using some terracotta tile and for this I've already cut my envelope my card and done the inside so we'll just adhere that I've got the envelope ready to go as well. There we go, and I'll just put that to one side. And then I have a piece of basic black, which will be the next layer, and a piece of watercolour paper. Now, to do this, it's a very messy technique, so I suggest you put down a couple of sheets of paper towel to get started and then you need a piece of cling wrap it's going to roughly cover your card so I put my card down so I can see where how much cling wrap I need and then you just tear off what you need so I'll do a little bit more because we want some scrunches on it all right so it's about that big now I'm just going to put a few scrunches in it and then lay it flat on the outside. So over your card you've got a few um, scrunches and it's water, the Fluid 100 watercolour paper. Beautiful quality and don't forget there's a right and a wrong side to watercolour paper. Now I'm going to come in with the terracotta tile re and all you do is just drop a few drops here and there. Try and get some in your in the little creases you've made. And you need a water spritzer, stamp and spritzer with water in it. And what you're going to do is just spray till you get all that rain cut activated and moving around the surface so you look at it you don't want big blobs so then I came in with my aqua painter and just swirled that around a bit to give me a better coverage of the colour and because the cling wrap's wet it'll take a bit more water all right, so we've got sort of no really blobby bits there. So clean your aqua painter off. The next bit, you just pop your watercolour paper down over your cling wrap and press. And you'll see the colour comes on through. It's quite vibrant, this one. All right, now I come in with another bit of paper towel and just wipe off any excess around because you don't want that transferring onto your card now in one quick movement you need to pick the the cling wrap and the card up flip it over all right and you can move that color around a bit more if you want to and then remove the cling wrap now on the on the last one i did come in and use some of the color that I had left on the cling wrap and just dab it in different areas really so I wasn't you know so that I was using up all the ink 
all right then get rid of your cling wrap now you need to let that dry so I'm just going to pause the video while I dry this off all right now our panels mostly dry so I thought I might just come back in with my aqua painter a bit and move some of this color around the bottom just to get rid of some of this white space you can pick up any of the excess color just move it around a bit all right and dry that off all right so our panels dry now then I just bring in my basic black cardstock and we're going to just adhere it see how that color's gone through but this is great watercolor paper just adhere it put a bit of glue in the middle to front panel and I'll put all the measurements for this on my blog you can buy all these products in my online store now just to keep that down because it's still a bit buckled from when I wet it I just pop that on there now I've cut a couple of strips of basic black and I have the poppy now I'm going to choose maybe this side this one so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the leaf stem and adhere that to the poppy just down there and just hold it for a second all right I'm just going to let that dry on my mat and that should be dry all right so we're just going to glue the strips on and down the edge so I think this strips maybe two centimeters wide this one's one centimeter wide so just using liquid glue adds a bit of dimension interest to your cards I've already got my sentiment in heat embossed in white stamp and emboss powder and I used Versamark for that and my heat tool so I'm just going to put that about there and then all we need to do is adhere our flower that we got ready previously pop our flower down there all right so it's a little bit different to the other one then turn it over pop some glue on the back pop our card front on all right so there's our card using the cling wrap technique with re-inkers we used terracotta tile on this one and we used mango melody on this one so i hope you enjoyed that how do i do that video and um i hope to see you again next week don't forget you can buy all these products in my online store and I'd love you to shop with me. Bye for now.